Yeah. Um, do women need to supplement iron given that they lose iron during menstruation? It's interesting because we have a change in hepcidin or hepcidin, depending on which part of the world you come from, uh, because it is increased under times of inflammation and decreased under times of iron loss. So we see uh, a significant change across the menstrual cycle. So I tell women, if you are concerned with low ferritin, then we want you to take an iron supplement every other day, starting at the first day of your bleed for 10 days, because that's going to really allow your body to absorb it and stay on top of it. Um, after that, every other day, yeah, but you're not going to be absorbing as much of it because hepcidin starts to come up after ovulation. Again, you have a pro-inflammatory response, so you have greater inflammation. Do women blanket need to supplement? No, because we see fatigue isn't necessarily just iron related. There's so many other reasons why women are fatigued. The one problem is the baseline levels for like ferritin. For active women, if you go in and you have a ferritin level of 20 to 25, they're going to say it's normal, but we'd rather see you up around 50. So if you are in that low end of normal, then supplementing will help you get up into that 50 and see if it makes a difference. 